Cash Color Cannabis, a higher level of conversation on live hiphopdaily.tv. Got my boy Runway in the building, man. What's good with you, bro? Yo, yo, what's going on, man? Ain't nothing, man. For those who don't know it, those who, who are listening later, um, Runway actually pull, helped pull off one of the coolest, most unique events that happened in Atlanta this past weekend. Word, Speaking indeed. of sneaker ball. Yes, yeah, yes. so we got. I, th I thought it'd be cool to have my man come up and, and, and speak to our audience tonight about sneaker ball and, and all with all that entails, the charities that y'all support and all that. So, but before we get into that, man, speak to us about who you are overall. Like, who's Runway? Um, well, I am uh, overall. I'm a creative, um, a visionary is what I, I fancy myself. Um, I do um, my day job. I'm a director of photography. Okay. Um, I'm currently working on uh, Love and Hip Hop, but I do, you know, I freelance, so I do other shows as well. Um, I, on the side, I'm a photographer, um, event coordinator, um, low-key stylist, you know, just, I like to dabble in things. I'm Jamaican, so I can't really... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I fit the stereotype. Bro, you gotta have ten jobs. <laughs> you got two jobs. What's wrong with your boy? You're lazy. Exactly. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm a person who likes to see and do dope things. Um, I travel a lot. You know, hence the name Runway. I'm like on a plane um, twice a month at least. Mm. Um, yeah, you know, I, li I work here during the weekends, but I live in Brooklyn. You know, so it's a constant back and forth. I commute to work Bro, that's from a, Brooklyn. That's a constant bill. <laughs> <laughs> from from Brooklyn to Atlanta and yeah. living there, that's a constant bill, man. Yeah, it is. I pray it for is. you. But you know, it's it's a, it's also a, an experience and a blessing. You oh, know, true. That, that I'm I'm happy to be able to partake. True, true, man. All right, so so now that we know that, let's speak about sneaker ball. Now, yeah. um, speak about the concept of sneaker ball and, and how did how does sneaker ball itself come to come to life? I guess so, let, let me know that sneaker ball is um, it is an urban philanthropic endeavor. Mm -hmm. um, it is intended to um, basically assist at, at risk youth um, in Atlanta public school system, um, and we're using sneakers as a medium to I guess engage with the youth um, simply because. You know, especially as like black people, we all have like we have. I don't know. There's a there's a thing with us and sneakers. You know. Oh, true. Um, true. We have a love for it. We right? have a love for it. Yeah. You know, and a, so we can identify. You know, regardless of what age it is, that's something that you know a lot of people have in co in common and can identify with. And we use that as a way to engage with with kids. Um, so uh, you know, the the ball itself is a, is a fundraiser um, for the for our initiatives. Um, in a, in a week or so, we'll be taking six kids on a shopping spree. Oh. Um, and then summer of 2019, we'll be doing a summer camp um, for about 50 kids. Um, and, you know, just hope, with the hopes of, of growing it, you know, annually and being able to incorporate more, more things. But, yeah, it's, it's, it was brought about just to, as a way to give back. That's what's up. Um, and so who, who are the people behind Sneaker Ball? Um, so Toyin Salami, that's my, um, one of my very good friends. Um, she came up with Sneaker Ball about eight years ago. Okay. Um, and, you know, I've been involved with it since the inception, you know, um, mostly in, in, a, in a creative aspect, you know, doing like the, the marketing materials for it, whether it be the photography or the graphic design mm -hmm. or um, anything of that nature. Um, and then, you know, getting a little bit more involved as we've grown. Um, but yeah, she came up with that, um, and then a couple years ago, Jahi Rollins um, joined, and once he came on board, things kind of just like took off. Um, so I shout to Ja. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, he, that man, he's low key like the mayor of Atlanta. He know everybody, and he was just able to like. Oh, uh, don't big up Ja like that, man, because I can hear Ja laughing through the screen. <laughs> <laughs> man, don't big up like, like that, man. The, the man connects the dots, you know, and yeah. it, it was really dope because, <laughs> like I said, it, I mean, you know, a lot of people don't know this was this is actually the the fifth sneaker ball. I've heard the name, you know, that's why it was crazy that I saw Lou, you know, saying down there, because it's like, I feel like I hear it after it comes, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. I want to get involved. But so this is the fifth one. This is the fifth one. Now, yeah. other cities have sneaker balls, like they, other sneaker balls exist, mm. but this is the fifth one that we've done in eight years. Okay. Um, but to me, 
personally, um, I feel like this was the first one. This was the one that kind of came out as envisioned, even though it didn't, because at the last minute there were like a lot of audibles, but you know, it still came out very well, and it was I I, I appreciated the success and and the support that that was shown. You know, it it was a look that we that we needed. Um, so yeah, it's the fifth one, but you know, with the difference is that Jai is involved this time around, and just what he, the, the resources that he was able to pull on, and you know, just what he was able to contribute was, you know, like I, I truly appreciate it, man, and it, you know, it showed tenfold. <laughs> John's my dude, but I'm laughing because like I can see him right now. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a humble dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is, he is, man. But shout out to John, and John's definitely a, what you say a dot connector because he does yeah. his thing with the AEBL. Yeah, you know yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, definitely stuck with that vision and it's looking great right now. Right. Yeah. So sneaker ball though, who are some of the charities that the event supports, like specifically? Like I did, I, I you know, who are some of the, the groups that that, that benefits from it? Um, well, we're dealing directly with the Atlanta public school system. Okay, so just strictly through the school system. Th through the school okay. system, um, it's under a parent company called Feats. That um, it's a it's a nonprofit, and they they engage with other charities. By I, to to my knowledge, Sneakerball is just directly affiliated with the with the public school system. The word word right. man. So this year, when you was watching, when you when, I, I know you had a chance to shoe watch. Mm -hmm. you no, know, oh, yeah. What were some of the favorite kicks you saw out there this this year? Oh man, uh, man. That's the, my my boy had on a De La Soul um, SBs. Um, I had never seen those in person, honestly, and they were so nasty. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let me see the De Las. I've yeah. seen, like you said, I've never seen them in person, but I have seen them. You know, like yeah, they were my... they were nasty. I, I I mean, they were very impressive. Um, everything else I had seen, honestly, to tell you the truth, I didn't really see as much heat as I thought I would have seen, <laughs> man. Ooh. Like, um, you know, and I'm, I'm yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. That's what I saw. It was a gang of Concords. So that was... Um, you know, I was like, ah, all right, cool. It's but like, that's almost like the standard shoe. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? And, like, and I mean, I got it. I wasn't. I'm not 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 knocking the shoe or, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I love the shoe. I got you know. But everybody's gonna it. have them. Like but yeah, said, it was yeah, just it like was a. Week. Week. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, a lot of. Well, one's been dress shoes for people for the longest. Yeah, 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 yeah. You give whatever to the. That's a dope idea. No, no, no. I'm into that. I'm into that. Mm. Um, but yeah, like I, I wore one, you know, I wear ones religiously though. That's like my, my signature shirt, but everybody has. Ones became dress shoes at one point. Like, oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember going to my nephew's middle school graduation, actually elementary school graduation, and seeing all the parents there and every dude mm -hmm. had had a button down shirt and some ones and some dress pants. And I was like, yeah, it's now, that's a dress shoe now. Hold on. When we say ones, we talking about Air Force ones Air or Force Jordan ones. ones? Okay. All right. I'm talking Air Force. I'm talking about Jordan, talking Jordan ones. ones. Yeah, I'm talking about. You Jordan saw a lot ones. of Jordan ones that night. Yeah, 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 yeah of yeah. course, of course. Yeah, a lot of Jordan ones. You know, Jordan ones go with go with a tux. Everything, everything. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll give them that. Like dunks do too to me. Dunks yeah. will go well with it with a, with a tux, which is what I was going to ask you. When mm -hmm. it comes to putting together, say, a a a a a, a, a proper outfit for mm -hmm. the sneaker ball that night, how is your shoes going to look? Like, what, what what would you recommend for somebody to to to, to wear? Um, personally, I like a, you know, like, I don't know, it, it really just all depends on, on, on the individual style. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's, you know, um, I tell people to, to envision like Met Gala, but what I'm starting to realize is a lot of people don't really know Met Gala. Like, that's how I pictured it at first, like Met Gala with sneakers. With sneakers, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is, you know. Um, it's so it's like, it's not formal where like, oh, you're going to prom, but like, it's just like, Fly stuff that you just not necessarily wearing on the everyday, you know. Oh, like, that's how y'all gotta start selling that. Like Met Gala you know with sneakers. I mean, that's what you know. Yeah. What I'm saying that's what I was. I guess so. I guess we do have to do a better job of conveying that. And I, I feel like, um, you know, from this particular, um, you know, the content that we were able to aggregate from from this um, this one would be able to better um, convey the vibe. Um, I don't know if y'all saw the recap video. Um, I posted, we posted it today. I have not um, seen it yet. But yeah, it was, it, it does a very good job of selling the vibe. That's what's um, So, you know, for, to promote it in the future. Um, and it, it was, it was a little, well, I'll find it was a little difficult 
to promote it on my end just simply because I had a hard time explaining to people what it was, you know. And we'd like we'd done several others before, but I mean it was just so, you know, we never managed to get any kind of content from it to to use it for marketing purposes, you know. So, um, yeah, like. Now we're in there. <laughs> and uh, so explain to people, I guess there were a lot of displays going on. At, 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 yeah, at, we, at, we, at, had, we had an art display. Like explain what, what <clears throat> was there for people who didn't get a chance to come. So, yeah, we, we had a lot of art on display from like local artists. Yes. Um, there, we had a few vendors there. Um, forgive me because I can't remember any of them by name right now. <laughs> um, but it, I mean, you go to SBATL, um, doc, excuse me, SBATL um, on Instagram. Um, and sbaatl.com coming very soon. Um, you can you can see all of everything. You know the the beautiful, really dope artwork. I mean, huge pieces, um, interactive pieces. Um, I mean, it's very 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 impressive stuff. That's what um, you know, from like local people. Um, Atlanta's a very talented city, and we're we're very cultured and diverse and very creative. I, yeah, and we, I got to see a lot of that um, this weekend at Sneaker Bar. Like it was just a fusion of uh, a lot of good that the city has to offer. That's what's up, man. You know, yeah. Shout out to Ciroc. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. For providing, a, yeah. Ciroc kept us nice. Shout out to Slutty Vegan. Um, you know, came Slutty through Vegan be everywhere. Everywhere, Slutty <laughs> Vegan is everywhere. Um, yeah, it, it was a it was a really really dope event, man. All right, so now I'm definitely feeling bad I didn't go. Hey, um, so what what next year? What, what, what's the plans for next year? Um, we haven't decided on a specific date, or you know, there could have very well been a specific date decided on, and I'm just not aware of it just yet. <laughs> you know, um, but I, I feel like it will be around the same time, and um, hopefully not on the. Um, not on the day of the mayor's ball, <laughs> you know. You know, I saw um, Keisha Keisha Lance Bottoms had on some sneakers, and I assumed she was at the sneaker ball. She was at the uh, governor's ball. Right, right, yeah. right. Um, you know, we got a lot of support from the city as well. So hopefully next year, um, you know, based on what we, you know, we can we can get a lot more. Um, I don't know, man. I, like the way I see this going is it's just going to be so much bigger, so much better. We're going to really be able to do stuff and. Um, you know, contribute to, you know, this this wonderful fabric that, you know, the city's made of, you know. That's what's up. Well, this is very much a, an Atlanta thing. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, we, yeah. and we now got the recap playing in the background. That oh. does that does people who listen to this audio-wise no, <laughs> no good. No good. <laughs> no good. But we are watching it for, you know. Um, yeah, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Congrats, man. You know, that's a really, it's a, it's a real dope nod to sneaker culture, and it's also a dope nod to Atlanta itself. Because, it, you know, again, with the creativity and everything you pulled from it was very Atlanta. You right, know, it right. didn't really, it, even from what I was looking at on Instagram, it didn't come off stage, that's what I can say. Wait, thank you, yeah. thank you. Um, we, you know, it, it, that's all it could be, you know, is... I haven't even seen this one yet. There's a there's a whole another one that's like on the Instagram. See, and all I'm thinking is to myself now I gotta get a tuxedo because I already know what kind of shoes I want to wear yeah, next, man, next year. You know, all I gotta do is just you know pick the right tux that's gonna go with the sneakers that I gotta grab. Yeah, man. Some people really lit, did lit, it up lit. out there, you know. They need to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you said, if we got portrayed almost like the Met Gala yeah, with, man, with sneakers, exactly. yeah, man, make it a competition. Would you say that king and the king and queen? Make like, it a competition? like, honestly, in my head, I really want this sneaker ball to manifest itself into something akin to like a complex con. You know, I don't necessarily mm -hmm. see Atlanta. You know, like, like we don't necessarily need complex con itself, but I'm just saying something of that magnitude to where we're having like exclusives. And you know things like that. Oh, like releases know. and shit. Yeah, like mm. it, you know, um, or, or premieres or you know that kind of stuff. You know, all involved. So, um, yeah. Hopefully that can happen. Hopefully we can get there. Solid man. All right, I see you done with your joint. Yeah. All right, we about to go hit this off screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right, Trey. Well, excuse me, runway. It's runway. Always, runway. Always, hey. It is my name, so you know what I'm saying. It, it is, you know, Trey, Tremaine, Runway. Let me say we just have this whole name argument before. Yeah. I told people don't use my real name and my nickname together. Like either uh, you gonna pick one, dog. Well, the nickname <laughs> is Runway Trey, so anyway. you know it's a, it's a you know. So like, it kind of goes with it. At yeah, least. It, yeah. It does like my, I feel you, bro. All right, well, appreciate you, Runway. Yeah, <laughs> man, I appreciate y'all for having me, man. No really. doubt. And salute, yeah. salute, sneaker ball, salute my man. Yeah. Ja, yeah, Ja, T.O. Great, great event. Um, you know, wonderful team. You know, Chuck, 
everybody. Really appreciate it. Solid. Well, I appreciate you for coming through. No doubt, man. And that's Cash Color Cannabis, a higher level of conversation. All right.